it's really odd to me because this female unity narrative says to female rappers, oh, you can rap, but you can't act in a way we don't want you to. We still want to feel like we can handle you, like we can approach you, like you're acceptable. But when a woman is outspoken on a microphone, then she can't be controlled. She can't be told. When a woman writes her own raps, she can't be told what to say. When a woman isn't afraid of not being liked by anybody, including other women, it's a threatening thing. Because if you can't control a woman with respectability and shame of not having that respectability, how can you control her? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is another one of my no ghostwriter videos. Follow no underscore ghostwriter on Twitter and Instagram for 24 seven rap and hip hop talk. And be sure to like this video, leave a comment and subscribe if you like what I'm talking about today. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about why I really hate the term female rap unity and why I'm very tired of female rappers focusing all of their energy on looking like a female rap girl scout rather than being a bad badass MC. If you're interested in watching this video and you think that's an interesting subject, then keep watching. So first of all, I just want to start off by saying that I am very pro-women. I am a woman. I love women. I particularly feel very passionately about black women getting money. I'm very passionate about women being independent, self-sufficient, standing on their own too. I'm very, very passionate about women having their own distinct voice that's separate from men and that is why I'm very passionate about rap because I think it's very important that women have spaces where they are able to vocalize and talk about their own life experiences, their own perspective on life, whether they are a heterosexual woman, whether they are a queer woman, whatever it is about you that you want to share with the world, you should be able to do so without being silenced. And that is why I'm very passionate about female rap, as you can see from every video on my channel. Now you guys can tell me if you think that I'm being unfair, but it seems to be that every time a female rapper has a press rollout or any sort of press engagement, there are two topics that they will be asked about no matter what. They're gonna be asked who their top five female rappers are because everyone wants to see if they don't say Nicki Minaj, which you already know it's Nicki Minaj, so stop doing that. And secondly, they're gonna be asked if you could be on a song with any female rapper, who would it be? Or if if you would be on a fem on a modern version of Ladies Night, which is a really iconic female rap collaboration, who would be on your Ladies Night? It's just the same two questions every time because female rappers are so boxed in because of the patriarchal nature of hip hop, which is something that I've discussed in so many videos on my channel and will inevitably go on to continue to discuss in more videos on my channel. I just feel like it is BS. And the reason I feel like it's BS is because who cares? Nobody, and I mean nobody, asks any male rapper of note which male rappers they want to hold hands and sing Kumbaya with. They don't. They get asked about the music, they get asked about the bars, they get asked about their inspiration, but they most certainly don't get asked about which other male rappers they want to sit around a campfire with, braid their hair and talk about boys. It's only female rappers that are expected to be best friends. And the reason I say that is because it's all part of the respectability politics that is inherent in being a woman and especially being a black woman in a public facing role or industry. Women are expected to behave and act a certain way. And it's crazy to me that in rap, like rap, the most braggadocious, no holds back, no filter, confidence led genre of music there is in my opinion it's anyone's concern whether or not rappers are friends with another rapper in fact when you get onto the mic your only goal as a rapper is to 
kill all of your competition and have everyone look at you and say, oh, she's got bars, she's an LMC. That's all that rappers should be thinking about. And so this whole media spin that is going on around female rappers, it's been endemic for such a long time. I just think that it's just sad. It's just a way of having a barometer, which is like a scale that they can use to measure women's respectability. So think about it like this. A rapper like Nicki Minaj, the queen of rap, who is braggadocious, a bully on the mic, everybody is her son. They can use this respectability politics of female unity to make Nikki to appear like a bully, like a bad guy, which was a massive element of the Nikki hate train and something that I discussed in my video on the Nikki hate train on my channel. So by having this scale, rappers that feed into the media narrative of being, you know, such a nice, I'm a nice girl's girl, I'm friends with everybody, oh, I have no rap beef with anyone, it takes the teeth out of being a rapper. It takes the, the, the fire out of being a rapper. It's like getting a lion, a king of the savannah, taking out its teeth and taking out its claws and just having a little pussycat and being happy with that because then it's gonna do what you want and it's not gonna speak out in the way that you don't want it to and it's easy to control and it's easy to manipulate which is something that I talked about in my video on why Nikki didn't sign the female rapper 360 deal. There is a lot of control and coercion in the female rap space and female rappers are often made to feel like they need to act and behave in a certain respectable way way in order to be accepted into the hip hop culture, which is rubbish because men are not asked to do that, period. And you can't give me a single, single male rapper who has ever had to worry about whether or not people like him. And that's why I always use my bittersweet but you know, I still love him, but he irritates me. Example, Drake, because Drake is overly concerned with people liking him to an extent that makes him different from other rappers in that regard, because most rappers are by nature focused very much on themselves and their legacy. They've got ego, they've got a legacy to protect. They're very proud. So, being liked by other people is probably kind of low on their priorities list, if we're being honest. But it's really odd to me because this female unity narrative says to female rappers, oh, you can rap, but you can't act in a way we don't want you to. We still want to feel like we can handle you, like we can approach you, like you're acceptable. But when a woman is outspoken on a microphone, then she can't be controlled. She can't be told. When a woman writes her own raps, she can't be told what to say. When a woman isn't afraid of not being liked by anybody, including other women, it's a threatening thing. Because if you can't control a woman with respectability and shame of not having that respectability, how can you control her? The answer is that you can't. And that's why it's so important to preserve the integrity of female rap that we resist these narratives that force women to have to act like they like each other and that everything is kumbaya, everyone's holding hands. Female rap girl scouts, oh, we're all best friends. No, you're not. Get on that mic and be a bully. That's your only job if you're a rapper. Get on the mic write those bars or freestyle them off the dome. Just make sure that it's your voice and you are a bully with your bars. That's all you have to do. This isn't 
this isn't anything else and that's how they keep women in this separate category and treat women like they're not really rappers because they take away the rules of rap they say oh women no you don't have to write your raps and oh no 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 don't worry about being a bully or being braggadocious on the mic just just be nice you know be a girl's girl be be everybody's everybody you know then we can sell you and market you and make loads and loads of money from you but don't, don't do all of that other stuff and do you know why they do that so they can turn around and have a reason to continue to disrespect female voices in hip-hop which is what I said in my video about how female rap is not an aesthetic because they just want women to look pretty and not say much that is how you maintain power dynamics that put women at the bottom. That's how you maintain power dynamics that force women to shut up. Because it says, unless you're just painted pretty and you don't say much and you don't say anything offensive and you don't say anything that's new or challenging or clever or witty, then we're happy with you and then if you start to speak out and be a bit too loud and have a bit too much freedom and a bit too much independence oh no 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 can't have that and that's what's really interesting about the female rap unity narrative it's used as a way to control and suppress the female voice in rap and it's used as a way to marginalize the significant con contributions that female rappers have made to the rap genre. And it's why we're still in a place where Nicki Minaj can be made out to be this bully because she doesn't spend most of her PR hours trying to convince everyone that she's a female rap girl scout. She couldn't care less about anything other than her bars and her legacy behind the mic because she is a rapper. And the rules for men and women in rap should be the same. So that's my two cents. I hate female rap unity narratives. I think it's dumb. And that's not to say I don't love when female rappers collaborate. That I most certainly love. But what I don't love is when female rappers are forced to pretend to occupy this respectability politics space. You don't have to be respectable to anybody. All you have to do is be a bully behind the mic. That's all, that is all. Screw it if they don't like your wigs. Screw it if they don't like your clothes. Screw it if they don't like your makeup. But what they should never say is that you don't have bars. That's all that should concern you. So that's my opinion as a massive fan of rap and hip hop, as a massive fan of female rap in particular, screw female rap unity narratives, screw forcing women to occupy a respectability politics oriented space, and screw trying to tell women what to do and how to be and judging them. If a woman is a rapper and she feels really passionately about everybody she's friends with and she wants to focus that in her career, I say good for her because it's a choice. What I don't like is when it's not a choice. And what I don't like is when the media and the, the general public pile on women who don't want to follow that line, who don't want to behave the way they want them to behave. Like with Nicki Minaj, the biggest example of this. So that's me and that's my two cents on female rap unity. What do you think? Do you like female rap unity narratives? Do you like female rappers feeling a pressure to have to act like they like everybody and everything is all Girl Scouts and Kumbaya? Or do you think that that risks some of the competitiveness in hip hop and puts women rappers in a space that they aren't competing and therefore aren't taken seriously? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.